getting my videos now we are going to talk about the second third and fourth quadrants coming to the second quadrant the questions were written already on the board just i read out in the second quadrant i'm considering the point b is 20 about its p and 10 behind bp isn't it as per the concept of quadrants you can look from here in the yesterday's class we were discussing the point b is in behind bp and above hp behind bp and above hp same the thing behind bp and above hp it is said to be second quadrant yes now for better understanding i use the verb place in this in the second quadrant and you do have to practice in the same manner to get a proper appropriate answer in order not to confuse so this is our second quadrant i'm getting in front of you like this 3d1 now what the question asked here is the point b is 20 above hp first what i told place it in the reference line now the point b is 20 above hp it is 20 above hp next it is 10 behind bp 10 behind bp source is where here considering the planes to be transparent isn't it point b is 20 above hp and 10 behind bp the point b is at a distance of 20 comma 10 yes now Viewing from here, as the plane is transparent, this is my friend view. Viewing from friend, I see this object here on the vertical plane at a distance of 20 above. At a distance of 20 above, this point B is here. That is nothing but friend view. It is represented with small letter B with dash. Yes. Now come to the top view. Now the observer is here for the source. The ray coming to this point, and it will be appearing here on to the horizontal plane. That is my top view. This is capital B. Now the ray is hitting the horizontal plane at a distance of 20 behind. 20 behind. That means this distance is sorry. This distance is 10, and this distance is 20. Now hitting the point here will be getting. Small b, capital B, representation on to or you want to play in stock view, it is represented by small. Now, this is capital B is here becomes b dash. Now, capital B here in the top view is b. This distance is how much, friends? Twenty above. And this distance is ten behind. What we do? Ask for the method. Or you want to train to be tilted clockwise, or you want to train to be tilted. Whereas this overlapping, let it be. But whereas we can see the points. As we discussed in yesterday's class, we are not going to study second quadrant because of overlapping of the planes takes place. So whereas for the points, we can work out why because there are no clashes between point to point. It will be on single same ray. So it is tilted like this. So when it is tilted, there you get B dash, isn't it? On the same reference line, you get B. This distance is 10, and this distance is 20. Okay, okay. Otherwise, I draw here. This is our second quadrant.
becomes B. On the same ray. On the same ray is going to. So I can write after tilting what will be happening. That means vertical plane as well as horizontal plane are going to overlap. So you see above the reference line both front view as well as top view. So I draw a dimension line first. Either this side or this side. So this is my 20. Below here you see 15 and here is 20. This 
same in this plot here. Now at some distance, from a point here, this is which view? This horizontal plane. Top view. Top view. So this is C dash. And draw the projector till the distance of 15. And here you see the vertical plane C, just C. So this is just opposite to the top. First quadrant, so the third quadrant. So only the point C dash and C will be highlighted all of the dimensions. So this is about third quadrant problem and a point is said to be in third quadrant. I hope you are getting. Let's work out even on the fourth quadrant, the final quadrant, coming to the fourth quadrant, the position is this. That means how you can name the fourth quadrant with respect to HP and VP. The point is below HP and in front of VP. The point is below HP and in front of VP. The same similar manner, the question is framed here. The point B is 30 below HP, 30 below HP and 15 in front of VP. And 15 in front of VP. So similarly, taking this book here for better understanding. My point is here on the reference line that is 30 below HP, 30 below HP and 15 in front of VP. The point is at a distance of 30, 15. This distance is how much? 30. 30 on which plane? Horizontal plane 30. Vertical plane 15. Now, similarly, as the source is this side, you will from this side. Point D, shadow or the ray is hitting vertical plane that is front view, it is represented with small letter D with a dash. Now viewing from top, the same point D, here the ray as it is said to be transparent, the ray or the ray of sight will be at a distance of 20 on this point. Isn't it 20? Sorry, 30. In front of VP, sorry, 15 in front of VP. On vertical plane, 15. On the horizontal plane, 30. So this is 15 and this is 30. So this is like that. So I get here D, small d, which is top view. So this is a picture. But whereas horizontal plane will be anti clockwise, anti-clockwise, so this is a picture. Overlap takes place. Overlap in the frame takes place, so both will be below the reference line. Both front view as well as top view will be below the reference line. So I draw directly x y line view x y. So horizontal plane as well as vertical plane both will be below the reference line. But whereas where the horizontal plane point on a vertical plane point 30 below 30 below means here so in this what do you see friend view at a distance of 30 so first draw the 30 distance from here so this is 30 and in front distance in front will be also below the reference line as both are overlapping so they will be on a single projector line a single projector line so here I got one point and at this distance we get one point but which point is what? 30 is what? 15 is what? we have one more time clarity point D is 30 below 30 below below means on to front view distance that means on to vertical plane I am getting 30 distance so that is what this is my front view V dash that means by default this is D so these are being joined by a projector a ray of sun so this is point is said to be in fourth quadrant 
I hope students you understood second, third and fourth quadrants too and practice more number of problems coming to projection of points. Thank you. Please kindly do watch my videos and share my videos and more videos, press the bell icon. Thank you.